It is time for our weekly arts and culture segment. That means we have our culture correspondent, Song Yujin, back in the studio with us. Great to see you, Yujin. Happy to be back, Jongmin. What do you have for us today? Well, Jongmin, let me ask you this. Do you know who Miss Fu of Yongin City or Princess Fu is? You know, I have heard a lot recently, but tell us more. Well, interestingly, that's the nickname that refers to Fu Bao, who is the three-year-old giant panda that's currently living in Everland, South Korea's largest amusement park. And what makes Fu Bao really special is that she is the very first giant panda to be born in Korea through natural pregnancy. And over the past few years, Fu Bao has sort of become a celebrity, not, here in, not only here in Korea, but around the world, as people have watched videos of her on YouTube ever since she was born. But Fu Bao is isn't just an adorable panda. She is actually part of the Chinese government's efforts to foster friendly relations with other countries through pandas. So for this week, I looked into what Beijing's panda diplomacy is. Black eyes and ears surrounded by a white coat of fur. Fu Bao, the giant panda, has captured the hearts of people in Korea. It's a regular weekday morning, but minutes after Everland opens its gates, it's packed with people. When I watch videos of Fu Bao, she's absolutely adorable and charming. I feel a deeper affection for her because she's the first panda ever to be born in Korea. This year, the craze around this three-year-old panda reached new heights when her zookeeper revealed in May that she'll have to move to China next year. After the news, the average number of daily visitors to Everland during the last week of May rose 20 percent when compared to the first week. For Fu Bao Zookeeper Tryout Program, more than 13,000 people applied for three available spots. But why does Fu Bao have to go to China? That's because all pandas and their offspring legally belong to Beijing. China has been long using pandas as a diplomatic tool. Panda diplomacy began in 1972 when then Chinese President Mao Zedong gifted two pandas to the U.S. after President Nixon's visit to Beijing. Their cuteness sparked a worldwide demand, promoting China to loan pandas to other countries as a way to foster friendly relations. Current Chinese President Xi Jinping sent Fu Bao's parents, Ai Bao and Le Bao, to Korea in 2016 when bilateral ties were relatively stable. With the recent straining relations, some wonder whether Fu Bao could come to the rescue. China's ambassador to Korea, Xin Haiming, visited Everland and presented a thank you plaque on Fu Bao's third birthday. This was after his previous controversial remarks about China's rivalry with the U.S., which seemingly targeted the Korean government. Koreans' affection towards pandas can positively influence their perception of China. Everland's panda videos are going viral on Chinese social media platforms. This could lead to new civilian exchanges and public diplomacy programs, ultimately influencing political and diplomatic relations too. With negotiations for Fu Bao's return set to start next month, all eyes are on what decision will be made and how that'll affect Seoul Beijing ties. You know, panda diplomacy, that's interesting. Right. And people are just captivated by Fu Bao. She's a celebrity. She really is, Tongmin. So I knew that Fu Bao was really famous, but I didn't know how much big of a star she was until I actually saw it myself. And what really caught my attention was at Everland, there were several people who were holding top-notch cameras, not only smartphones, to take pictures of Fu Bao's. These are cameras that usually passionate K-pop fans use to take photos of their stars. And it turns out that some of them visit Everland almost every single day just to take a look at Fu Bao and also take her pictures. And Fu Bao's popularity can also be seen in merchandise sales as well. So this cute little panda doll that I brought, I actually bought it from Everland yesterday when I was there to cover the story. So when I was at the gift shop, I could actually see the staff continuously restocking panda stuff to keep up with demand. And for example, this stuffed toy, it practically sold out within a just few hours after the store opened. And Eugene, um, as you mentioned, there will be negotiations next month uh, to take Fu Bao to China. What's going to happen? 
Well, as many of Koreans really want FUBAO to stay, unfortunately, experts that I talked to said that chances are very high that FUBAO will return to Korea. And the reason is because the leasing contract of FUBAO's parents states that their offspring must return to China before they reach four years old. That's because that most, that's the typical age when most pandas reach maturity. So if this contract is stuck to then, FUBAO will move back to China next year. And her twin sisters, who were born three weeks ago, will also follow in 20 2027. And as for their parents, Lobao and Aibao, they're currently on a 15-year lease, so they'll be staying in Korea until 2031. However, I want to point out that some experts, they speculate that there's still a glimmer of hope for that Fubao's return date will be pushed back as Beijing might really see panda diplomacy as a good opportunity to improve strained Seoul-Beijing ties. Right, we will have to wait and see. And I want to get, it, get one myself. You should buy one. Thanks, Eugene. Thank you.